Warning, before I get into this video, I'd like to say this video is full of a lot of nitpicks and was made for entertainment purposes only. In all honesty, this video is great and I found this video enjoyable. During this video, if I have an actual critique for this video, I will discuss them after the sins and at the bottom corner of the screen, you'll see a serious critique written. If y'all like this video, I will consider doing more of these types of videos. So without further ado, here's the sins video. The human puppets. Fourth wall break. I can't decide what's worse. Either A, no other adult at the park is questioning or concerned that an adult man is walking up to two children, or B, Jeffy and Junior are alone at this park with no adult supervision. Either way, it's a sin. Brooklyn guy gets outrun by two children in a parking lot. That's pathetic. I get it, he's a horny teenager, but Jeffy makes these jokes all the time. Rosalina has no concerns for her son being taken away to prison. She doesn't go with him, try to bail him out, or even show up to court. I see Mario not caring, but Rosalina has seemed to always be the loving parent of Jeffy. We don't see a scene with the Brooklyn guy arresting Junior and talking to Bowser, so was he just not arrested? Oh wait, nope, he appears in court. I guess they just decided to do this off screen. A 30 day sentence? And they going to prison? Okay, this makes no sense. Someone with a 30-day sentence would be sent to jail. Not only that, but Jeffy and Junior get locked up with very dangerous criminals from past SML videos, ones who belong in a prison. And considering that Jeffy and Junior committed a very small crime, this doesn't reflect the real world well. Bubbles making an appearance in this episode is awesome, but he doesn't even attempt to sexually assault anyone. Huh, <sighs> miss opportunity, Logan. Widely spaced jail bars have started to affect SML videos now. How dare they strike again! What regular prison has an electric chair? And why isn't Face Eater in death row prison if he's gonna get executed? The Brooklyn guy didn't think the second he brought Jeffy and Junior to the prison that locking them in the same cell could be a bad idea that could cause an escape. He only thinks that right now before they try to escape. Ah yes! Putting the keys that let the prisoners right out of their cell, right in front of the cell, is a great idea! Why? For plot convenience, of course! Brooklyn guy somehow sleeps through Jeffy and Junior literally yelling at each other in front of him about an escape, but he wakes up when the keys jingle. Surprise reveal! I would say that the Brooklyn guy must have forgotten all about Jeffy's parents, but that was does bad things guy then. The real sin is that Brooklyn guy not being told about said events ever to the point he locked Jeffy and his mom in the same cell. Also, Nancy shouldn't be in the same prison as the rest of them, as she's a female and by law prisons are supposed to be separated by gender. Also, also, if the SML movie is canon, then Nancy is in another prison and not in this one as seen by the SML movie trailer. Nancy and Jeffy's parents came off as much stronger than Jeffy and was able to beat him. Yet in this video, Jeffy was able to easily push her into a toilet and pin her down. It only took a decade for Bubbles' name to make sense and for his name to mean something. Where did Nancy get the spoon? Did she pull it out of the toilet like what Bubbles was doing to try to find the fork? When Brooklyn Guy is on the phone, it seems like the judge has no speaking time and Brooklyn Guy keeps talking even if it seems like the judge isn't talking to him. Did Brooklyn Guy fake this call? Brooklyn Guy doesn't seem suspicious of Junior holding prison clothes, blocking a wall, and Bubbles not being in sight. Actually, Brooklyn Guy in this entire episode just seemed really stupid and didn't have any basic logic for things. Why hasn't he been fired yet? This ending seems rushed, and the joke that it was just a family-sized box was so stupid. Merch plug. Okay, so now that I'm done with the sins, I want to go over my actual thoughts of this episode and the real issues I had with it. To start, I want to go over the title. I discussed it during the court scene, but the title makes no sense. A 30-day sentence wouldn't result in prison, but rather jail. And Jeffy and Junior were also locked up with very dangerous criminals. What would have been better is if that Jeffy and Junior's crimes wasn't so little and rather something very serious resulting them to actually have a long prison sentence. 
Then they'd be locked up with prisoners who also did dangerous crimes. Next, the broken guy. He seems stupidly naive in this episode, and there is no need for him to be. Sure, it led to funny scenes, but it still is a bit of an issue. And lastly, the ending. It was so stupid. A lot of the other people also agree that it was stupid. The fact it was just a family-sized box so it wasn't illegal was so ridiculous. Those are really my only complaints about this episode, though. Overall, this episode is great. I love seeing old characters brought back, the comedy was really good, and I like the new location and all that stuff. Overall, probably one of the best videos we had in the last year and a half on SML.